Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one is one I'm excited to talk to you about today. We're talking about nail polish bottle shapes. Now I know that sounds super boring when I say it out loud. I was really excited writing this down and then the second it came out of my mouth for real, I was like, nobody's gonna watch this. But this really is something that I find really interesting and fun. And I just wanted to show you my five favorite and five least favorite bottle shapes as far as nail polish in my collection goes. Now, the more I think you do your nails and the more you get into the hobby, you start to realize that like nail polish bottles, the 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 shape, the weight, everything about it, it really matters when you're doing your nails, either from an aesthetic purpose, like do I want to display this? Is this something like really pretty, which I have like one over here that's like that or uh, does it draw me in? There's been a couple brands that have really drawn me in just because of the way they look and it has pushed me over the edge to try them. And also, is the bottle functional? You know, there are some that are not weighted properly or they're shaped in a way that just makes them really difficult to use. So that's kind of where my least favorites are gonna come in and show their colors here. So I just wanna jump right in. I'm gonna give you my favorites first and then we will switch over to my least favorites. And then just let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have a favorite bottle? Is it weird to have a favorite bottle? I'm really not sure. Okay, so number one is gonna be Smith and & Cult. And as we go through these, I'm gonna show you like close-ups because it's really hard to do it from here. But for me, Smith & Cult is the brand that, I think these are like, 20 bucks a pop or like $18 each. And I was like, that is way too much to spend on a nail polish. But just the way these bottles look is what threw me over. It's just the cap has all this really cool like crimping detail. Um, they have a few different looks to these caps as well as uh, I think I've shown you in a previous video. And they're just really different looking from anything else that I have. They're short and round. And actually this does add to the functionality of the polish bottle as well, because they're so heavily weighted on the bottom, they are really hard to knock over. So you're not gonna be spilling them. And because they're short and wide, you know, they have a lower center of gravity or like lower balance. So these are really just, they look beautiful on your shelf but they also work well as far as when you're painting your nails. Number two is gonna be the Zoya bottles. Now I like these simply because of the way they look in my Helmer drawers. They fit in just like a perfect grid because they're like this soft square shape. They just fit in these perfect square rows and I really love that. I have like a drawer that I think is entirely Zoya at this point and it just fills the drawer perfectly. It looks so nice from a top-down view. And because of the way the cap is, um, it's like pinched in a little bit so you can see the outer edge of the polish uh, as you're looking down. So you can just see this sea of different colors and because I organize them in rainbow order, it just looks really cool. So that's why I like the Zoya bottles. Number three is picture polish. And now I have two here because it's got to illustrate the point that I usually hate when bottles aren't uniform looking and these bottles, every single front, if you can see, uh, they have the name written in a different font. They have like pictures on them. They all look different. They have different sayings. Um, they, if they have a collaborative like YouTuber or Instagram or whoever, they put their name on the front too. Every single bottle face looks different and usually I would be the first one to be like I cannot stand this but there's just something kind of artistic about this I think it's really cool that every single bottle has its own little finishing touch and it really suits the polish each you know design font whatever I feel like they put a lot of care into choosing that sort of thing and so picture polish is like my one exception to the no different bottles rule next we have ice cream nails or ice cream nails, I guess. I would say ice cream nails. Um, do I really need to say why I love this bottle? 
this was another one that I saw, I think it was Just Face 90 reviewing these on YouTube several years ago. And I was like, I have, I have to have at least one. These bottles are too cute. I, they're like, especially like the pastel polishes. They just look super cutesy. Um, I've seen another YouTuber say like, it looks like cheap or like Claire's makeup or something like that. I never really felt that way. I really liked the novelty of it. And so I bought right into them right away. They're really good quality too. I will say though, uh, the, the cap itself, if you're not used to painting with it, I think I don't really have too much of a trouble with it now, but I think when I first got it, just because it is a cone and so like the, the, um, the top is thinner than the base, it can be a little bit difficult, but it's like a three second learning curve. Once you got it, you got it. And then the last of my top five nail polish bottles, probably kind of surprising because the bottle itself is not attractive. It's not cute. It's fine. It's the Orly bottles. And this is simply for like a functionality uh, purpose. The cap is that like rubberized coating. And so like, even if your bottle is super stuck, it makes gripping it so much easier. So when you want to twist it open, it is so nice. Or like sometimes I forget to loosen the bottle caps of my polish when I start painting my nails. So I'll get all the base coat on and then suddenly I can't open the actual color I want to put on my nails. And I'm like trying to like grip it without getting my nails like gripped in my fist or I'm like trying to like daintily do this and I always end up smacking my nails or like I've asked my boyfriend a couple times to open them and he'll start biting them. I'm like, don't bite the cap. So I like this. I like this because it makes me very independent when I'm trying to open my nail polish bottles. And now for my bottom five. And keep in mind when I say like, these are my bottom five nail polish bottle shapes, this is not reflective of the polish itself. I would not buy these polishes if I didn't like the polishes themselves. It's just that for one reason or another, the bottles either don't do it for me, they don't work for me very well. And so the first bottle shape I'm gonna talk about, it's actually two brands. And I love both of these brands. There's nothing wrong with them, but they, they have the same bottle. Uh, and that is Different Dimensions and KB Shimmer. Their polishes are great, super affordable, wonderful polishes. The only reason I don't like these bottles is they're just plain. Like it's just, I think that because the polishes in these are so amazing and astounding, the fact that they have such a simple bottle design, I was just kind of like, oh, okay. Like that's, you've got like gold in here and the bottles are just kind of like fine. And they're super functional. There's nothing wrong with them. Their bottoms are weighted really well. Uh, so they don't tip over. It's just, I think when I think of like a standard basic nail polish bottle, this is what I think of. And I think that's why I'm just kind of like, it's fine. It works. S but I imagine that these are probably cheaper to buy in bulk. And because these polishes, I would say are on the cheaper side for like indie brands, I don't take too much issue with that because if they're passing that cost cut on to me, why should I be complaining? I just like to complain, let's be real. The second in my list of least favorites is Essie actually. And there's actually a couple reasons why I really don't like Essie bottles. First of all, I don't know, I just think they're ugly. Like I, as much as I like the Zoya square, for some reason, like the, the raised uh, font on the side where it says Essie, it just, it looks kitschy to me for some reason. I don't know how to describe it, but also I really hate that they have two different bottle types. So some of them are, my understanding from what I've read is like, one is for like mass sale and then the other is for like salons. And one of them, if I can recall correctly, one of them has this like white marking and they have the name of the polish on the top of the bottle. And then the other ones, I believe they are just glass on all sides, like this SE raised design. And then I think they have the sticker on the bottom. I'm going to pull from my collection, so I'll show it on the feed. And then the other thing that I just can't stand about SE is their minis are so weirdly proportioned. Like it, 
it's almost as tall as the standard se bottle just like tucked in just just squeezed in just skinnier and i don't get that because usually other minis that i've seen they look like proportionately smaller than their full-size counterparts so it just makes me uncomfortable to see these next to each other because it doesn't look right okay number three is for all my midwest folks out there um if you're from michigan or ohio specifically you'll maybe know what i'm talking about and that is the old studio m bottle now this i know this looks like what's on my nails but actually what's on my nails is color club wham pow and i think i read somewhere once that this brand has the same distributor as uh color club so who knows maybe it is the same polish but studio m is if you have meyer in your in your area not not like a fred meyers which is like a different grocery store but a meyer grocery store they sell their own like house brand of nail polish called studio m and their old bottles are these like skinny rectangles and they look very old-fashioned to me which isn't a problem in itself i think that you know old-fashioned stuff looks cool but i just think they picked the wrong old-fashioned to go with and the other thing too is because they're so skinny this way when you're like going to you know i like to swipe some of the polish off you can really easily knock it over because the base is not wide and so it doesn't have a lot of support and then a couple years ago they changed the bottle design now they're kind of like squat and round but that also makes me mad because now they don't match and so i have some from each bottle type in my col i'm sorry i'm like swinging this around i have some in my collection that are from both bottle types and i just get really stressed out looking at it because i'm like how do i organize these do i organize them by bottle type and then color or do I just do it all by color because it's all the same brand and this is just something that really keeps me awake at night you, you can tell number four is a brand that is or well, I guess it's a sub brand that is no longer sold and that is Nicole by OPI these are the weirdest bottles I don't they're really stable they're very stable bottles so if you like push against them it's hard for them to fall over they have a wide base but it's just like it looks like someone was like glass blowing the normal opi bottle and like dropped it on the ground and it was like Bleh. and then uh they were like yeah that looks fine no let's just go with that it, it's just got this like super swoop flat face and i don't know i, I didn't get a nail polish until i think after or just around the time that nicole by opi was discontinued i don't actually know why they were discontinued what went on with that but i believe this was like the cheaper alternative to opi i don't think that these are bad polishes i got a few in like a a swap and i was just like all right these are fine but the bottles are so ugly and they just i don't know if they take up more room when you store them but it just feels like they do because there's all this like unutilized space right here that it's just it, it feels like a waste you know and then my last bottle shape is actually more of just a category in general and that's every single bottle that sally hansen has ever done i hate like i said earlier i hate when when like the line like changes the bottle or anything like that and technically you know sally hansen didn't change their bottle they just have ten thousand different nail polish bottle like or nail polish lines and there's like insta dry hard as nails um they have what else do they have i have some that are these like old metallics they have these big chunky like rectangle bottles they have oh my gosh it, it, it's i can't even think of them because i'm getting so stressed out just thinking about them but out of all the Sally Hansen bottles, I think I can pick my least favorite and say that it is, in fact, the Insta Dry line because these bottles, as cute as I love, I collected all the Crayola ones. I love the Crayola ones. As cute as they are, they're tall and skinny and easy to knock over. And I have panicked like a couple times just knocking these over and like grabbing for them and freaking out. 
I really can't stand it. I They're a fun bottle to look at. They're interesting shaped. It's unusual, I guess, but these are just so inconvenient. They don't fit together well in my storage. And so every time I like pull the drawer out, they scatter everywhere because they can't like sit down straight. Like they don't, they don't mesh well. I can't figure out a single good way to um, tessellate them together in order to make them not just fling everywhere. And I know I could probably just put some, um, what do you call that? Contact paper or something like that at the bottom of my Helmer drawers, but I don't want to pay for contact paper. Um, and also I, I did try putting like some sort of contact paper down once and it started to like remove the labels from the bottoms of my polishes that, you know, they do have the, the names on the bottom. And so that was a pain. And I went through and I started putting tape on all the bottoms of my bottles and I got like halfway through my bottles, ran out of tape and I was like, what am I doing? Like, just take the contact paper out. So that was a long tangent for no reason. <laughs> but yeah, so I really, I just don't care for these bottle shapes from a storage point of view, from a functionality point of view. And while I love these polishes, they're super cheap. I love Sally Hansen's price point. Uh, they do a lot of really, you know, fun colors and stuff like that. Cool collections. They did like Jelly Belly and Sour Patch and all that. I just don't like them. It's not cohesive. So anyways, what do you guys think? Do you have, is this something you've even thought of before? Do you have a favorite nail polish bottle shape? Or is this something that you don't actually care about and I just overthink every single aspect of my life? Because it's probably the second one, but I, I feel like some of my fellow nail polish collectors and enthusiasts probably do have at least one bottle where they're like, I love it, or I just cannot stand using this brand's bottle. Let me know down in the comments. I really like chatting with you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.